राउंड टेबल मीटिंग को हम लोग स्टार्ट uh, करते हैं विद दैट फेमस कोट एंड आई विल कोट डॉन एंड कैरल डेविस इफ बैड साउंड वर फेटल ऑडियो वुड बी द लीडिंग कॉज ऑफ डेथ तो इससे हम शुरुआत करते हैं इसमें कई चीजें इस इस कोट से कई चीजें समझ में आ जाती हैं और कई चीजें जिनको नहीं पता वो भी पता चल जाएंगी आज का सेशन हम लोग लाइट रखने की कोशिश करेंगे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट फिल्म पोस्ट प्रोडक्शन फिल्म साउंड पोस्ट प्रोडक्शन तो अब इंट्रोडक्शन की तो खैर जरूरत नहीं है लेकिन फिर भी मैं स्टार्ट करना चाहूंगा शांतनु जी से जैसे दर्पण ने बताया फॉर्मर यशराज स्टूडियोज के मिक्स इंजीनियर रहे हैं वीदास और पता नहीं कितने कितने प्रोजेक्ट्स में इन्होंने हमें बहुत ही सुंदर सुंदर गाने दिए हैं वृक्षपाल तो अगेन आजकल के एकदम हॉट हैं अभी इनका एक नया प्रोजेक्ट आया हुआ है आर्चीज नेटफ्लिक्स पे ब्यूटिफुल सॉन्ग्स ब्यूटिफुल सॉन्ग्स सुनने में इतना मोर इन बैकग्राउंड थैंक यू बहुत बढ़िया जस्ट लाइक टू हितेश इज अगेन फ्रॉम साउंड एंड साउंड एंड विजन और हितेश इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द ब्यूटिफुल मिक्सेस विच कम आउट फ्रॉम साउंड एंड विजन Uh, it's in tamil telugu and uh, hindi of course even malayalam bhi karte hain hitesh to yeah. bada acha lag raha hai aap logo ke sath mein baat karte hue good to be here yes hum log start karte hain with the film production uh, post production uh, introduction main kar deta hu with pehle to mix engineers kya hote hain uske bare mein main thoda sa इनसाइट देता हूं आई विल हम लोग किस कंडीशन में रहते हैं किस क्या क्या हमारी रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज होती हैं उसके बारे में मैं थोड़ा बताना चाहता हूं बाकी हमारे ऑनलाइन या व्यूवर्स को सो मिक्स इंजीनियर्स की रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी बहुत बड़ी होती है जो भी आप सुनते हैं चाहे वो म्यूजिक हो डायलॉग्स हो आपके इफेक्ट्स हो साउंड इफेक्ट्स हो लाइन इफेक्ट्स हो वो सब हम डिसाइड करते हैं क्रिएटिवली कि आपको कितना सुनाई देना है किसी गाने में कितना रिदम सुनाई देना है कितना साइड रिदम सुनाई देना है ये सब हमारा डिसीजन होता है ऑफ कोर्स उसमें म्यूजिक डायरेक्टर भी रहते हैं लेकिन हम लोग एक प्राइमरी डिसीजन लेते हैं और ज्यादातर 90 परसेंट इसमें हम लोग ही हम लोगों का ही डिसीजन होता है मैं सही कह रहा हूं Yes, yeah in, in in a way because uh, you know like everything uh, that we do with sound everything is a very collaborative process and uh, as mixing engineers we would say that we are the ones who put all the different elements of sound into perspective uh, depending on what the visual is dictating to us because in the end the visual dictates as to how we perceive uh, the sound and uh, if it's only uh, if it's if it's non visual related then it's all the ideas of uh, you know the music director or the composer which we have to bring in uh, into play over here because as an engineer you know a lot of times there is too much attached to being a mix engineer you know uh, l- let me put it straight out over there you can't be a good mix engineer if you're not a good recording engineer great that is great the basic point. that is the basics of everything you know there is a lot of glamour attached to mixing you know there isn't there isn't it's just that your name or your the final hands or year set of years that the medium passes through <coughs> before it hits the uh, hits the uh, public but that doesn't mean anything you know because uh, you know there's an old saying and uh, it, it does sound a little crass but i will say it uh, you can't shine shit you know so you know that that's the whole thing and you know this is not my statement this you know this has been actually quoted by one of the great engineers uh, uh, mr bruce swedeen and uh, this is where it all comes in so you know my thing is a mixing engineer's role is to have things in perspective 
in conjunction with what your director wants, what your producer wants, what your choreographer wants. We, have, we are like a glue to everything. It's like being a chef. It's exactly like being a chef. You know, you have all the different ingredients, but in the end, what you put on the table is what actually matters. And this is what. So as mixing engineers, we are good cooks too. <laughs> so, but uh, to make a good food, you require a good chef. And uh, good chefs are very rare, like mixing engineers are also very rare. True. So it is, it is always, you know, uh, we decide, we do the final uh, thing and uh, the suggestions from the directors, the music directors, even the choreographer, even the editor, we, uh, but they, they will see the final product, which what we have created from the sound perspective, from the, from, from the sound perspective, and then they will suggest few changes, but the basic and the building has been created by us. We decide in our dark, big mixing rooms with all the latest plugins and big consoles. And nowadays, uh, great plugins are also there. We are the uh, people who decide uh, and our assistants. And of course, the assistant director is also there. But we are the people who receive all the tracks from different departments. We listen to them. Of course, there are uh, dialogue uh, premixers also with us. Everybody is there, but but we take the final call. And after that, we show it to the director or the director is sitting with us in the, during the mix. And then we take the final call as this is working or not, according to the director's vision, whether the uh, people will be connected with that particular scene, if it is a crying scene or emotional scene, or it, if it is a love scene, we decide the level of the background music, we decide many things. You know, sometimes during the mix, I have done that, and many of us must have done that, that we remove the music which was there. Because we felt that, oh, uh, maybe without the music, this scene or this dialogues, this scene is coming out better. So the a, a mixing engineer plays a very, very important role in a audio part in the uh, in the what people are seeing it right so with that uh, i will start with the uh, film production sound sound production thing there are few things in sound production and um kya kya stages involved hain uske bare mein main bataunga aur fir un stages se related questions main aap logo ke samne rakhunga theek hai so, a film sound production may generally jab a production shuru hota hai ya director a concept kar leta hai ready to wo jata hai uski team ke paas mein jase cinematographer hai uske saath mein saath mein involve hota hai sound designer bhi jiske saath mein reading hoti hai reading hoti hai aur usme short division bhi discuss hote hain ki yahan par meri sound koi cheez involved hai koi cheez important hai कि इस साउंड से रजिस्टर होगा कि ये चीज आ रही है या ये साउंड इस सीन पे ओवरलैप करनी है तो उसमें क्या होता है कि हम लोग एक बोर्ड बनाते हैं कि दैट इज कॉल्ड द साउंड बोर्ड हम लोग प्रिपेयर करके रखते हैं और साउंड डिजाइनर उस चीज को या सिंक साउंड में जो बंदा इन्वॉल्व होता है वो जाके वो एलिमेंट्स पहले ही कैप्चर करता है ड्यूरिंग द शूट एंड आफ्टर द शूट एंड इवन कभी-कभी ऐसा होता है कि वो रिकॉर्ड करके proper आ नहीं पाया तो वापस से भी जाते हैं हम लोग और उसको रिकॉर्ड करते हैं तो ये तो हो गया साउंड बोर्ड की कहानी उसके बाद में आता है गाने जो हमारी इंडियन फिल्म इंडस्ट्री में सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट रहते हैं और सॉन्ग रिकॉर्डिंग का प्रोसेस होता है जिसमें सिंगर डिसाइड हो रहा है म्यूजिक डायरेक्टर डिसाइड हो रहा है मिक्सिंग इंजीनियर फॉर द सॉन्ग भी डिसाइड होता है और वो स्टूडियो भी डिसाइड होता है कि कहां पर वो गाने रिकॉर्ड होंगे उसके बाद में आता है सिंक साउंड दैट इज शूटिंग पे जाते हैं शूटिंग पे भी वो गाने प्लेबैक होते हैं जो कि सिंक में होते हैं फिर वो एडिटर उस गाने पे सिंक करता है एडिट करता है जो फाइनली देखते हैं लोग बाद डायलॉग एडिट जब सिंक एडिट हो गया है उसके बाद में सारे ट्रैक्स आते हैं सब टेक्स आते हैं कभी कोई लॉन्ग शॉट है शॉर्ट 
क्लोजअप है उसकी साउंड को डायलॉग एडिटर डिसाइड करता है कि मेरे इस साउंड के लिए ये ये टेक है ये फाइनल टेक एडिटर ने डिसाइड किया है उसके लिए टेक कौन सा है ये साउंड एडिटर डिसाइड करता है फिर उसके अंदर अगर कुछ नॉइजेस हैं या कुछ क्लीनिंग की जरूरत है तो उसको डायलॉग एडिटर करता है फिर आ जाता है हमारा स्टॉक एंड फोली इफेक्ट्स स्टॉक इफेक्ट्स वही होते हैं जो आपके गाड़ी के साउंड होती हैं गाड़ी के साउंड फिर फोली तो आजकल बहुत फेमस है फुटस्टेप्स लगाए ये किए वो किया बहुत सारी चीजें उसमें इन्वॉल्व होती हैं सुबह की साउंड है सुबह की चिड़िया है रात की चिड़िया है दोपहर की चिड़िया है या ये साउंड कब है ये सीन कब रिकॉर्ड हो रहा है तो जाल पहले तो अभी तो मुझे आइडिया नहीं कि सॉन्ग रिकॉर्डिंग में अब वो डिसाइड होता है कि नहीं शांतनु जी ज्यादा बता पाएंगे कि अगर कोई शाम का सीन है तो उस टाइप का राग रखा जाता था पहले अब का मुझे आइडिया नहीं अब तो ज्यादातर क्लोज उसमें होते हैं तो डांस नंबर की बात नहीं कर रहा जैसे इमोशनल कोई गाना है तो उसका सुर भी डिसाइड होता था कि कौन से टाइम पे रिकॉर्ड वो पिक्चराइज होने वाला है उस हिसाब से सुर भी डिसाइड करते थे पहले अब का मुझे इतना ज्यादा आइडिया नहीं है फिर साउंड डिजाइनर आ जाता है एक साउंड डिजाइनर होता है जो प्रोजेक्ट में जो पहले स्टोरी बोर्ड से लेके अभी तक अपना रोल प्ले करते रहता है जब उसके पास में सब फोली हो जाते हैं सब कुछ हो जाता है तो वो साउंड डिजाइनर म्यूजिक डायरेक्टर के साथ में बैठ के बात करता है और वो डिसाइड करते हैं कि इस सीन में इस पर्टिकुलर सीन में एम्बियंस मेरा इंपॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले करेगा एनहांसमेंट वो ज्यादा देगा कि म्यूजिक डिसाइड करेगा ये चीजें म्यूजिक डायरेक्टर के साथ में साउंड डिजाइनर फाइनलाइज करता है जो कि कन्वे होते हैं मिक्सिंग इंजीनियर और फिर फाइनली आ जाते हैं हम लोग फाइनल मिक्स करने के लिए हमारे पास में सारे डिपार्टमेंट से सारी ट्रैक्स आती हैं कुछ 200 ट्रैक आते हैं फिर उनको हम सुनते हैं उनको हम प्रीमिक्स करते हैं म्यूजिक डायरेक्टर म्यूजिक के ट्रैक्स देता है बैकग्राउंड वाला अपने ट्रैक्स देता है डायलॉग वाला अपने ट्रैक्स देता है हम उसको प्रीमिक्स करते हैं कभी कभी साउंड प्रीमिक्स डायलॉग प्रीमिक्स इंजीनियर अलग होते हैं फोली प्रीमिक्स इंजीनियर अलग होते हैं वो अपना काम करके देते हैं बैकग्राउंड प्रीमिक्स अलग करते हैं वो अपना काम करके देते हैं लेकिन फाइनली मिक्सिंग इंजीनियर जो है वो फाइनल कॉल लेता है तो ये तो हो गया हमारे प्रोसेस अब इन प्रोसेस के थ्रू इन मैं कुछ क्वेश्चंस आप सभी के लिए रखे रखे हैं मैंने प्रिपेयर करके रखे हैं और सबसे पहले मैं स्टार्ट करना चाहूंगा शांतनु जी से शांतनु जी आ, मेरे को टेल मी वन थिंग Do you prefer external gear or a Pro Tools ka inbox gear or plugin? Well, you know, there's a big deal made out of all of this. Uh, you have to adapt to the times. I I started off my career as an engineer pre-digital, so obviously I have been used to all analog equipment. Yes. I have yeah. seen the transition. I have seen the transition from analog to digital. The when digital started off, it wasn't at its best stage. It wasn't really the best sounding medium, which is why you know people still had that impression that you know digital doesn't sound good. But today, I don't think there is any argument as to the sound. If you had to look at in its whole way, the the today's sound of digital is far superior. to what it was right at the end uh, uh, right at the beginning and analog sound we got used to its deficiencies simple yeah. things like noise main thing is noise and that so called noise is what is now added to every plugin you yes. can see to every plugin that you go you can see over there noise on or off off yes so everyone puts it on off correct because every no one wants that sound so if you're saying analog was better well i don't really know whether analog was better but i'll just tell you something there is a vibe that analog had because of its imperfection digital correct digital is so correct and precise which is also something that is great so you want precision you go with your digital way of working you want a so called analog and element which is not so precise 
So I, if you, the, to answer your question simply, I am what you would call the perfect marriage between hardware and software. I like both for each of its particular advantages that it offers me in the process. Give you a very quick example as to why I would prefer digital. Simple thing, if I had to do an edit, gone. In the, in the analog days, I would have to take out the tape, rock and roll it, to find out what the point of edit is, put in a glass marker, take it out, put it on a splicing machine, and then pray to whatever God that you wanted to, that your, that, your, that your edit worked out fine. The same used to happen on the film table. Yes. So, uh, you know, simple things like that. Today, I want a particular EQ. I don't need to reach out to whatever EQ that I need in my hardware or on my console. It's there on my plugin list. It's all over there. So today, if you had to ask me, would I like to mix on an SSL analog board or would I like to mix on an SSL, you know, all my SSL plugins? That yeah. would be a very, very difficult question to answer. But okay. let me if I had to honestly sit down, it would all boil down to how much time are you giving me? Because okay. the analog way, I still need to route things to different channels on the, on, on the console. I have to go to each channel. I can't copy from one channel to the other. So it, it's time consuming. But in the end, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a particular sound. So it really doesn't matter what sound and what medium I use as long as my end product achieves what I initially set out to take, which is the sound that I'm hearing in my head. And which is where I can do Let's say I'm working digital, purely digital in the box. I would still then have an analog piece of equipment, a limiter, a compressor, maybe an EQ in that analog stage strapped in onto my mix bus. So wow. that's why I say that's why I would say I am a hybrid between the two. I use both. Wow, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, thank you. So my second question is for Vikpal. Sir, Vikpal ji, आपके मैं पहले एक disclaimer दे देते हैं हम लोग किसी भी product को या किसी भी चीज को हम लोग कोई हमारा कोई sponsorship नहीं है हम लोग किसी भी चीज को सपोर्ट या किसी कंपनी को हम लोग प्रमोट नहीं कर रहे क्योंकि मेरा सेकंड क्वेश्चन कुछ कंपनियों का शायद नाम आएगा तो मालूम पड़ा है आ, कोई बोल दे कि भैया ये भाई स्पॉन्सर्ड प्रोग्राम है तो ऐसा नहीं है आ, आपके फेवरेट रेबॉब्स और डीलेस प्लीज ओ वेरी टफ क्वेश्चन बट लेकिन सर प्रोग्राम के हिसाब से आप आप एक स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट हर इंजीनियर का होता है करेक्ट है करेक्ट करेक्ट सर तो हम लोग सब स्टार्ट करते हैं यूजुअली बेस प्लगइन्स लेके जैसे अपना एविड के जो रहते ही हैं हां थोड़ा थोड़ा करके हम लोग प्रोग्रेस करते हैं लाइक फॉर मी मैं अभी भी काफी एक्सपेरिमेंट कर रहा हूं नए-नए कुछ ना कुछ निकल के आते हैं थोड़े टाइम पहले मेरे को फिनिक्स वर्क करके एक व्हाट एक्सपोज्ड टू दैट तो वो एक थोड़ा भी फेवरेट रीसेंट फेवरेट अभी वो बन गया है हां अदरवाइज रिवाइव 2 हैज बीन द मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज्ड विद कंजुगेशन आई ऑलवेज यूज टू और थ्री प्लगइन्स फॉर रिवर्ब और डिलेस होता क्या है कि हर एक लिमिटेशंस रहते हैं हर एक के हर एक का साउंड एक अलग रहता है लेमैन को समझ में नहीं आएगा बट हमें एज इंजीनियर्स बहुत हटकते ये चीज है यस कि यार इसका एक छोटा सा एक वो नोट कुछ अलग जा रहा है कुछ साउंड uh, अलग लग रहा है वो डीले इसमें बराबर नहीं जा रहा है टेल बराबर नहीं है फटाक से कट रहा है तो वो है एक दो एंड डीले मोस्टली में एच uh, डीले है एंड uh, अपना अगेन लेक्सिकॉन रिवर्ब का भी डीले सिस्टम्स आते हैं तो वी यूज दैट एज अ मिक्स ऑफ बोथ ऑफ देम वाओ वाओ तो ब्रिकपाल जी आपके पर्पल इस स्टूडियो में एक्सटर्नल गियर है रिवर्ब्स के लिए डिलेस के लिए कि आप जैसे हाइब्रिड यूज करते हैं कि रिवर्ब्स डिलेस वी आर यूजिंग मोस्टली प्लगइन्स नाउ आजकल बहुत कम जगह पे एक्सटर्नल गियर यूज हो रहा है और होता क्या कि हम लोग ज्यादा एडवर्टाइजिंग का काम करते हैं तो जरूरी नहीं कि हमारा जो प्रोजेक्ट रिवर्ब के साथ 
अगर डब हुआ है या म्यूजिक डब हुआ है वो कहीं और जगह जाएगा तो फिर उसमें प्रॉब्लम्स और क्रिएट हो जाती है इट इज अ ब्लेसिंग नो डाउट शांतनु सर वुड डेफिनेटली अग्री विद दिस हैविंग एन एक्सटर्नल गियर फॉर रिवर्ब इज ब्यूटीफुल बट लिमिटेशन वही हो जाती है हां अगर आप कोई फिल्म का काम कर रहे हैं तो इट टेक्स टाइम यू नो एनीथिंग व्हेन यू हैव समथिंग यू हैव टू ट्वीक इफ यू हैव अ प्लगइन इज देयर राइट ऑन योर स्क्रीन यू जस्ट गोइंग टू यू कैन गो डायरेक्टली टू अ प्रीसेट यस यस एंड बूम एंड यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम देयर सो इट मेक्स इट रियली क्विक यू नो मेन थिंग इज सॉरी टू इंटरप्ट बट यू यू डोंट वेस्ट टाइम यू डोंट वेस्ट टाइम you know trying to find what reverb works you know with when you're working with so many different types of a, uh, analog hardware reverbs you know the, maybe there's an eventide lexicon <laughs> yamaha uh, tc electronics there is that you know you don't need to waste so much time so that's the main thing sorry that's the main thing yes. but 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 if you have the time all the time in this world best of the sound best of the gears then oh when that time comes you let us know we'll come directly <laughs> to the party <laughs> <laughs> great 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 so the next question hmm. is for hitesh hitesh ek condition hai suppose kijiye aap hmm. ek studio mein kyunki aap freelance bhi karte the pehle aur aapko ek hmm. studio mein mixing ke liye aur recording ke liye bulaya gaya hai theek hai aur hmm. uh, usme condition ye hai ki aapke paas mein teen options hain ki okay. आप या तो एक गुड माइक प्रीएम्प ले लीजिए या गुड मॉनिटर्स अपने स्पीकर्स ले लीजिए या एक अच्छा माइक्रोफोन ले लीजिए इन तीनों में से एक ही चीज अवेलेबल होगी तो आप क्या लेंगे क्या चूज करेंगे वेरी टफ क्वेश्चन बट आई थिंक कोर ऑफ एवरीथिंग इज द रॉ ऑडियो हाउ इट रिकॉर्डेड गिवेन एन ऑप्शन आई वुड लाइक टू हैव एवरीथिंग but if given an option i would go for a raw recording to be of the highest quality then if maybe i've i've been given an option between the monitor and the mic preamp i'll choose a monitor because then i have to hear also what is being recorded at the at the ultimate best so i would want the raw sound to be recorded at the highest level of the highest quality so if that's the only option i have then i would go for the best recording microphone yeah. microphone yeah. Mic- I, I, yeah. I, if i had a choice between these three mic preamp microphone or monitors so you know i would definitely need everything to sound in a particular way so according to me as hitesh said the monitors would come first very nice so, i agree with that monitors them. have to come first it Absolutely. really doesn't matter because if you if you don't have a microphone fine you don't do a recording if you don't have a microphone preamp you don't do a recording but if you ha- if you don't have speakers you got nothing <laughs> you got nothing <laughs> you got nothing <laughs> you are listening to something else <laughs> so what, you know, you're listening to nothing there's nothing you to listen to. to nothing yes what so, yeah, the condition wonderful. that there's a there's a average monitor present given a condition i mean if this it's there's between, no average is it there no or not there then i i i, I, I personally there, then you can't do it with the monitor so this thing but given option you have an average monitor then an average preamp then i would go with the microphone but if it's an option then ye hai ya nahi hai then i mean without monitor without headphone whatever produces the sound back to you without that you you are not you can't judge it so, so let me add in over there you know everyone is under the impression that you know to get a good recording you have to have x microphone you have to have x preamp it has to be a certain way mm-hmm. you know these are all myths put forward by other people you have to do the best recording possible with the equipment that you have at your disposal yeah. because there are no ex- you can go with a, either with an SM58 or with a U67 whatever the case may be mm-hmm. you need to make that recording sound the best possible and no one is going to question you as to oh did this was this recorded on an SM58 honestly speaking if it's a good recording the your mix as a mixing engineer matter you won't, be, you won't know what has been recorded on if it's recorded well no one will even question it if it's recorded badly that's when the questions are asked yeah so but but uh, for a recording if we are doing the recording also if the monitors are bad then you will not have the judgment of a 
perfect sound you know you can't decide so as you said earlier monitors are the what i feel is like monitors are the basic and the most important uh, absolutely uh, i agree with you i completely agree with you the basis you at least have to have an averagely decent monitoring when, when i say averagely decent first of all very important you have to be able to afford it hmm. yes you know so you yeah. my advice to anyone who's coming into the business you know at the base do the best you can that you can afford hmm. you know because everyone say oh your dyn audio or genelec or atc or whatever but i got money only for a whatever you know oratone then get that yeah, oratone yes and get the best out of whatever monitoring that you have and i'll tell you something hmm. none of us started off with fancy monitoring we all started off with basic monitoring basic we, you know only now do we have so many things at our disposal earlier on when we were starting off our careers there was nothing you had an, one set of oratones and a set of ns10ms you know yamaha ns10ms and honestly speaking you know not the nicest of monitors to listen to anything on but they were so flat and so cold that you know if you could get a good sound out of a yamaha ns10m the chances are that it will sound great on any kind of broadcast any kind of thing yeah. medium yeah generally we uh, earlier you we might, used to do i always you know i keep hearing this all the time you know you, we have to have this plug in we have to have that monitor we have to have this piece of equipment no you don't you work with what you have because then you are making excuses you're making excuses which means you are not developing your own craft and your own skills if you start blaming the tools it's a you know a good craftsman never blames his tools hmm. you work with what you have you know yes. can i get it done better with better tools obviously you can but that doesn't make it an excuse to do shoddy work i find a lot of times and i'm sorry i'm calling a spade a spade over here is like a lot of people say oh you know this recording is bad because i had this problem don't make excuses mm. because there is no excuse for a bad recording there is no excuse for a bad mix full stop wonderful mm. wonderful shantanu sir uh do you do live sessions now i used to i used to i used to i stopped doing live sessions because i felt that you know uh, five days of the week i was in the studios and then the weekends i used to be out uh, touring with different bands doing all these kind of things and i used to love doing it and then afterwards i felt that i needed to focus my skills on working in the studio oh so uh, i believe i could not be a jack of both trades and a master of both trades uh so i felt that i needed to focus my energies more in the studio work uh okay. even though live sound gave me a lot of buzz there's a lot of fun that was attached to it to touring being with like minded musicians being on the road but when i started out doing live sound it was very very basic it was very very basic and things got better during my careers and uh, during my career and uh, my biggest problem at a live sound situation was you know the lack of proper rental companies offering okay. you good equipment uh, 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 you know to work with and it was really substandard so you did what you did with the best of your abilities but it was frustrating it was extremely frustrating that you know only the big gigs you know got uh, you know ex particular rental companies equipment so you were great but then the rest of the time what happened you know you because let's not forget bombay is not the only place where music happens it happens all over india you know and going into different parts of india the, the, the scene was really really bad it was really really bad and that kind of frustrated me even though it was fun we had great time it was a great learning experience it taught me a lot but then i felt you know i'm not really getting what i want out of the live sound in terms of my creative satisfaction uh i was getting more out of that in the studios because the studios were way really really advanced and you know they were keeping up with the times and there was great equipment to work with there was a lot more learning to take place when you're there from right from the creative stage uh and uh, so yes i 
I, I, I talk a lot. I'm sorry. Uh, basic answer to your question. Yes, I did live sound. No, Rob, I, I was asking uh, recently, have you done or you have left? Uh... No, no, no. Recently, I, the last live sound I did was more than, uh, you know, 15 years ago. Oh, wow. That's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. And so, I, never uh, did, I never did live sound for any uh, uh, Indian film things. It was always for rock acts or jazz acts. Uh, it was that. I was never, at that time, I never used to be into the film music scene uh, for the live sound situation. Okay. So, uh, one very off the track question. Kindly let me know what kind of challenges this is for everyone uh you faced during it's not necessary to name that project lekin koi kisi ek typical problem aati hai har project ekdam smooth nahi nikalta sabse bada challenge kya mila hitesh aap se shuru karte hain koi project aap kar rahe hain aur usme uh, ekdam major koi challenge aaya aapke liye ki bhai isko aap kaise kare create ya creatively track wise ya kuch bhi तो नहीं कोई भी प्रोजेक्ट अगर हम कर रहे हैं तो अगर उसको करने के लिए एक सफिशिएंट टाइम मिले आपको रेस्ट्रिक्शन ना हो कि आपको इतने दिन में कुछ भी करके देना है देन समवेयर इन सम अदर डिपार्टमेंट कॉम्प्रोमाइज एपन्स आर बी एंड इफ यू कैन फाइट फॉर इट ये नहीं आई वांट टू विन इज एक्सटेंड योर डेट्स लिटिल बिट हियर एंड देयर देन आई थिंक क्रिएटिवली यू कैन पुट इन ऑल योर एफर्ट्स and get the desired sound that you want ultimately even if you come after 5 days on the same mix again you will feel like i can do something different it's like never ending maybe but you have to leave it at some point and the deadline kind of gives you that that dead, that that point when you have to stop but also it's it's restricting you from doing something little extra that you want to do so okay. any project can become difficult if you have been restricted to a certain time limit koi okay. ek particular project jisme aapko uh, time jaise aap bol rahe hain constraint koi hmm. aisa koi project naam mat lijiyega lekin aapne do din lage ya ek hi din mein aapne pura complete karke de diya aisa kuch hua aapke sath mein hota rehta hai hota rehta hai okay hota rehta hai aap ke sath mein kabhi hua aisa ki hota rehta hai ye aise challenges aate rehte hain aapke liye कुछ साल पहले एक फिल्म की थी म्यूजिकल फिल्म थी उसमें ऑन लोकेशन साउंड कुछ ज्यादा ही बेकार निकल गया है we had to read up the whole film including the songs that were recorded on location oh. and to uska jo lip sync pakadna for the singers to get that same emotion out that was a huge huge task for us very big task very big task oh my god there were couple of senior engineers involved in it so wo usse thoda sa ek acha ye mil gaya backing mil gaya ki ha bhai kuch bhi agar time zyada chahiye to inke through baat kar lo to <laughs> लेकिन ये तो बहुत बड़ा चीज आपने बताई है तो एकदम रोंगटे मेरे खड़े हो गए कि क्या बात कर रहे हैं अरे बाप रे शांतनु सर आपके तो लाइफ में होंगे स्पेसिफिकली एडीआर में बहुत बार ऐसा होता है एडीआर के टाइम में व्हेन वी आर डबिंग एडीआर आजकल काफी काम चल रहा है तो सिंक साउंड के कुछ एक बंदे रहते हैं जो कभी-कभी ऑन लोकेशन कुछ समझ में आवे ना आवे याद नहीं रहता है सम टाइम्स unconditionally you change some setting and you don't realize it for the next scene to usko fir wapas reshoot read up karna getting that same emotion actors ko sambhalna wo thoda task ho jata hai challenge challenge hai chantanu any you must have faced many challenges but any you know, particular well there, there isn't anything particular that comes to mind because i've been pretty fortunate but you know you expect challenges in every project that you do in my op- so far in my experience i don't think there is any project which has gone on when i say without challenges because even if there is something that is absolutely fine i want to challenge myself you know 
So uh, there is a cliche saying again, you, you know, you're only as good as your last job. You know, so yes. I want to be better than what I did the last time. So that is the challenge. But if you had to look at it in the actual way that you asked the question, yeah, there have been times when, you know, you've got badly recorded tracks and there is no way that you can re-record them again. What do you do? You know, so you got to think out of the box, you know, can I resample these kind of things? Can I bring in some musicians? Is there a budget? Is there time? So there are all these kind of, uh, you know, solutions that you have to come up really, really quickly with because now you've got to save the project. You know, yes, so it, so it all you you got to you got to think on your toes. You got to be able to execute, and you got to be very, very clear with the way you want to go ahead because you can't throw up your hands and say like, "Yeah, I can't do that." You can't do that. It's your job. It's come to you. You better finish it. And since you're saying this is, uh, so I, you know, in the end, your name is being attached to that particular job that you're doing. And you, you know, you got to live up to your name, you know, forget about impressing anyone else or your client being happy. You need to be happy with the work that you are doing. So you will do everything that you can to make it the best possible version of what that song or what that project determines. So are there challenges? Yes, there are challenges. Do we want challenges? Yes, I want challenges. If there's a project that comes to me and says like, hey, Shatru, you don't want, we don't, we don't need you to do anything. He said, great, then take it to someone else. You know, it's, it's a very uh, uh, clear thing that I feel like you, know, you don't have to do something that you don't want to do. So, Hitesh, uh, next question is for you. Virkpal Ji has told me that it's a lot of trouble to do ADR. Karne mein और सबसे ज्यादा एडीआर तो मुझे लगता है कि साउंड एंड विजन में होते हैं चाहे उसको कंटेंट लोकलाइजेशन का कह लीजिए या एडीआर भी आप करते हैं डिफरेंट डिफरेंट इंटरनेशनल क्लाइंट्स के लिए आप जो हमारे व्यूअर्स हैं जो हमारे देख रहे हैं जो सुन रहे हैं उनके लिए आप कुछ टिप दे सकते हैं कि कैसे उसको बेस्ट पॉसिबल वे में अप्रोच किया जाए uh, I mean, for microphone, we are very fortunate. Yeah, sorry. We are very fortunate that uh, you know, there are really great studios that we work in. I mean, it's it's an integration of every little thing that is involved in the ADR, starting from the sound being captured to how it is processed through the entire signal chain, till like, and how it at the end reaches the engineer and the audience as well. Like, at the end stage. So we have been fortunate that studios are they are built acoustically really well. I think recent Joby modifications that have been done, new studios that have been built, Anish Sandhanu sir has uh, been a, you know, the prime person who has looked after the construction and the acoustics of the studio setup. So the uh, acoustics ho gaya, proper, uh, you know, I mean, there's no limit again. You can do so much in everything. If you have good acoustics, then uh, comes the microphones. Again, I'll go from starting of the the source till the end. Then how you capture the source sound, whether it's an instrument that you're recording, yeah, you for ADR, like you said, dub kar rahe kisi ko, kisi ko record kar rahe. So, uh, when ADR record kar rahe, then microphone a good decent quality microphone if you want to literally uh, you know make the make a sound similar to how it is recorded on location provided uh, on location sound is used in the actual movie in the original version so if you want to emulate that exact sound maybe you can use the boom microphone shotgun microphones and if you can uh, i mean other there are suppose a movie is majorly in uh, English. It's a mix of Hindi and English. So sometimes when we are doing, uh, you know, complete Hindi for our Hindi uh, listening audience. So we we take the original parts of Hindi from the original and then the English parts that are in the movie, those are dubbed Hindi. Mein. So you need seamlessness then you need exact similar microphones. If you can get it well and good, if not, 
then the entire in the box processing happens when you have to match it with the original sound so that is there and i mean if if you have good plugins uh aapka craftsmanship craftsmanship bhi usme kaam aayega kafi agar aapka creative skills hai utna to ultimately with whatever you have aap agar wo achieve kar sakte hain then a decent recorded sound a decent gear in the studio and uh, ultimately the craftsmanship all in integration can give you a good idea so which when put into the mix will sound like it's a seamless mix and maybe if you want to emit it the original quality the tonality and everything wo bhi ho jayega so so uske liye kuch special reverbs wagaira kuch aap use karte hain ki different combinations aap try karte hain kyunki ek agar sing sound hai jaisa aap bata rahe the usko agar match karna hai aapko adr ke sath mein to kuch reverbs aap use karte honge usme ये ये ऑडियंस के लिए है बेसिकली उनको समझने के लिए कि कितना कितना इनपुट जाता है और किस तरीके से आप अप्रोच करते हैं तो ये मेरा बेसिकली जानना था इसी के लिए मैं रिवर्ब्स के ऊपर टच कर रहा था सो यू आस्क्ड हिम अबाउट रिवर्ब्स एंड थिंग्स सो दैट यू हैव टू गेट सम रिवर्ब एवरीथिंग बेसिकली इट्स द एंबियंस दैट यू हैव टू मैच सो लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स यू आर डूइंग एडीआर वी प्रोबब्ली डोंट गेट uh you know uh, 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 uh the room tones with you so you need to create the room tones to match closest with what you actually see visually so you know your visual perspective plays a very very important role as to what kind of you know processing you use uh, for that particular scene that you're doing adr for ab gaadi ke sound sabse difficult hoti hai usme adr agar kar liya main ek picture kar raha tha jisme ek artist hamare bahut senior actor hai उन्होंने मना कर दिया कि मैं माइक्रोफोन लगाऊंगा इन्हीं लेवल मैंने यहाँ वहां छुपा छुपा के उसको बूम तो कनेक्ट कर दिया लेकिन फाइनली जब हम लोग मिक्स टेबल पे बैठे पता चला कि <laughs> उनकी साउंड इतनी खराब रिकॉर्ड हुई फिर हमने उनको रिकॉर्ड कर लिया सामने वाले के साथ में मैच नहीं होती क्योंकि गाड़ी के अंदर की जो साउंड होती है उसको मैच करना बहुत डिफिकल्ट हो जाता है क्योंकि एक अलग सा रिवर्व होता है ब्रिकपाल जी आ, जब आप ऐसा करते हैं एडीआर तो दोनों कैरेक्टर को आप डब करा लेते हैं कि इसे भी एक अगर एक ही आर्टिस्ट ने डब किया तो फिर कैसे करेंगे मैच मैं फिल्म जो मल्टीपल कैरेक्टर्स सेम सीन में होते हैं तो वी ऑलवेज वी वुड ऑलवेज वांट कि दोनों डब करें ताकि वो टोन मैच हो जाए क्योंकि वरना क्या होगा कि आप अगर दो जन बात कर रहे हैं आप एक का सिंग साउंड ले रहे हो दूसरे का डब नहीं कर रहे हैं तो बहुत ही टोन चेंज हो जाता है एरिया चेंज हो जाते हैं तो always advisable from at least from our end is that you dub everyone as much as That's possible that's an ideal ideal world but normally That's an ideal world. Yeah. real world mein aisa nahi hai it's not dream world <laughs> very rarely does that happen yes yeah. very rarely correct oh uh, uh, we've been lucky that way <laughs> that people yeah. actually come no, that's, that's good way. that's good yeah. because we yeah. recently did a project hitesh and myself hitesh mainly because he was the main mix engineer um i was just overall kind of supervising so to say that we had to do exactly what you're talking about you know i had to uh, mix and merge with uh, you know with the actor uh, mm-hmm. you know with the location sound with the production sound and the adr work that was happening so and there was no ambient tracks there was no room tones nothing so we had to you know work hard it wasn't it wasn't difficult but it takes time it and takes, thankfully yes. uh, yeah thankfully uh, we were given the slight luxury of time to be able to achieve it and i think uh, hitesh did a absolutely outstanding job on that particular project ab ye sawal mera sabse hai aapke paas mein abhi koi old equipment hai kya ji aapke paas mein shantanu ji yeah so nothing 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 goes you know everything stays Uh, as long as you maintain it because it always has its uses and uh, it's just what might have changed would be say a set of monitors maybe but uh, a microphone never grows old it yeah so a microphone always stays maybe monitors you need to change you maybe need to change the voice coil or something of that sort but you know microphone preamps compressors limiters uh you know microphone uh summing mixers they're all there they're all there nothing nothing gets sold nothing gets sold so shantanu what is your favorite uh, you know ratio kept for a voice 
in a compressor because you talked about the compressor just i remembered well it's see it depends if if it's dialogue if it's see compression is something that is 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 grossly misused uh, because a lot of people don't understand what they're using the compressor for and also to know the difference between a compressor and a limiter you know uh, so all those kind of things so first of all if it is a voice recording be it whether it's adr whether it is a dub whether it is singing i always like to use an opto compressor which is basically a tube based compressor where your action of your compressor is 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 through tubes and through light basically that's what opto means it's an optical compressor and uh, talking about ratio of compression well it all depends but if it's if it's adr if it is dialogue premixing it would be a very very low value of maybe 2 is to 1 or maybe 3 is to 1 maximum you know maximum. and your attack and release times uh, will all depend as to how intelligent you want your dialogue to be uh, but then again in a film if there's dialogue related you don't really want to compress your signal you want it to be even and you're basically using it mainly as a limiter or if you're using it as a compressor you're using it to shape sound you know unfortunately there are too many people with bad practices who are using a compressor to achieve gain you know and that is why a lot of our industry recordings today that is out there in the world accepting sound and vision which is <laughs> Uh, you know it, it really sounds bad because you can you can hear the audio pumping you can hear the dialogue is not really clear you know you're losing out on mainly on the consonants you know it, 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 and consonant intelligibility is such an important thing because in the end when you're when you're watching a film you need to know what the dialogue is all about so even if it's might be soft it is not a question of loudness of being soft it's question of intelligibility and that is where the skills of the you know mixing engineer comes into play or the recording comes into play recording as to how you use all these tools because all these tools are not corrective tools they're creative tools if you're using tools to correct things well you know there's a lot to be said about that that will need a uh, you know five year course on how to do things right so yes compressor is important i would always use an optical compressor i will always use low ratios uh, for dialogue depending on the song it depends you know i would probably go up to 4 is to 1 and then later on maybe have a limiter just to keep things down uh, right now i would use a ducker to stop my dog from barking <laughs> but uh you know those kind of things so it's it's all such a creative and it's a very intuitive process uh you know uh, i cannot say i have a set rule as to what my settings will be because my settings will probably change in between a song yes. it will never, it may not be the same setting nowadays because of plugins you can automate settings you can afford to do those kind of things to get really precise you know in the old days when you were just working with analog gear you just had one setting and and you know you made it work so that it worked perfectly and in the end i will always maintain the best compressor is your fader to control dynamic to create to create loudness and to have it dynamically you know uh, you know huge it's it's your fader and it's all in your head correct thank you so my next question is for bikmal अब कितने चेंजेस हो गए हैं आप जब एक ओ के लिए आप सब काम करते हैं आप यूट्यूब के लिए मिक्स करते हैं आप ओ के लिए मिक्स करते हैं आप फिल्म के लिए फिल्म फॉर्मेट के लिए मिक्स करते हैं तो ये जब आप मिक्स करते हैं तो क्या आप लाउडनेस चेंज करते हैं प्रोग्राम की कि इक्यूज भी चेंज करते हैं क्योंकि इन ज्यादातर जा, जैसे स्पॉटिफाई के लिए आपको भेजना है या किसी के लिए भेजना है तो आपको पता है कि उनकी लाउडनेस के पैरामीटर्स अलग हैं तो आप उसके लिए आप इक्यूज को ट्विक करते हैं पूरा एंटायर मिक्स रीमिक्स करते हैं कि सिर्फ लाउडनेस के अंदर करेक्शन करके आप दे देते हैं कैसे आप कुछ रखें मेनली डिपेंड्स करता है डिपेंड करता है कि आपकी रिकॉर्डिंग्स भी कैसे आई हुई हैं 
सपोज इफ आई एम अभी ओ टी टी के लिए मोस्टली लाइक इफ आई एम डूइंग स्टैंड अप कॉमेडी तो वहाँ पे ज्यादा करके इक्यू से ज्यादा वहाँ पे लाउडनेस पे ज्यादा डिपेंड करता है बिकॉज दी स्ट्रीमिंग साइट्स आर वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट विद दी लाउडनेस मीटर्स वेन गोज इन टू मिक्सिंग सॉन्ग फॉर स्पॉटिफाई तो उसमें चेंजेस EQ pe bhi karte hain because as your dynamics will change as per your loudness changes to hmm. thoda sa uh, depending apna conversation with the music composer also ki unko kya chahiye matlab high zyada chahiye mid zyada chahiye to wo hisab se we have to tweak each and every aspect on it to so, so, abhi to aise kai ha sorry sorry ha please 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 to so, hota kya ki uh, सिर्फ एक मिक्स नहीं जाता है लाइक दिस इज नॉट जस्ट वन मास्टर दैट वाज देयर बी अनदर मास्टर विल व्हिच विल गो ऑन अ माइनस से 3 डीबी और गो ऑन अ माइनस 19 एलयूएफएस का मीटरिंग के हिसाब से तो नाउ दोस टाइम्स हैव कम इन दैट देयर इज नॉट जस्ट वन मास्टर दैट गोस एज अ मास्टर टू से सो स्पॉटिफाई मास्टर एक लेवल जाता है एक यूट्यूब मास्टर बिकॉज़ यूट्यूब इटसेल्फ कंप्रेसेस मोस्ट ऑफ योर मिक्सेस यस वो वो उनका कुछ है वो लिमिटर लगाते हैं और कुछ अजीब सी साउंड कर देते हैं तो तर, ये तर, अभी ब्रिकपाल जी आप ऐसे भी कुछ प्लगइन आ गए हैं जिसमें आपको ये पता चल जाता है कि अब मेरा ये अगर ये कंटेंट में अब मैं प्ले करूंगा तो यूट्यूब के साइड से कैसे जैसे आइजोटोप में एक प्लगइन है जो तर, आपको बताता है कि ये यूट्यूब में बजेगा तो ये चीज कैसी सुनाई हाँ, देगी तो आप वो यूज करते हैं जी वो यूज करते हैं प्लस वेव्स का डब्ल्यू एल एम मीटर यूज करते हैं उसमें क्या है दे हैव देयर प्रीसेट्स फॉर डिफरेंट स्ट्रीमिंग साइट्स आल्सो तो यूज बोथ ऑफ देम टू गेट एन आइडिया कि कितना क्या है और आजकल सच्ची बोलो तो विद दिस एडवेंट ऑफ एलईडी टीवीज वो तो मतलब बहुत ही खतरनाक साउंड निकल के आता है आप कितना मर्जी मिक्स <laughs> अच्छा कर लो मास्टर अच्छा दे दो वो साउंड बहुत ही खतरनाक आता है बहुत ही बेकार आता है सो यू हैव टू एट वन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम ऑब्वियसली लिसन टू दैट लिसन टू समथिंग uh, अगर गाड़ी के अंदर स्टीरियो है आपका तो उसमें सुनिए तो एक यू नीड टू गेट दैट प्रस्पेक्टिव के या कहाँ एंड एंड यूजर तो मोस्टली आजकल मेरे हिसाब से ईयरफोन्स पे सब सुनते हैं hmm. लेकिन ईयरफोन्स तो, कितने कौन से खराब हैं और कितने अच्छे हैं ये इसके बीच का ट्रांजिशन आप कैसे लेते जैसे हम लोग पहले करते थे जैसे शांतनु ने बताया कि एन एस टेन बड़े अच्छे लगे एन एस टेन पे अच्छा सुनाई दिया ना तो मैक्सिमम आपकी गाड़ी तक वो सीडी बना के हम लोग टेप लेके जाते थे सुनते थे तो अब कैसे आप डिसाइड करते हैं क्योंकि मैं सच्ची में हम लोग मेरे ये स्ट्रगल रहता है कि यार ये कैसे सुनाई देगा तो मैं अच्छा ये जो प्लगइन है जो आइसोटोप का मैं प्लगइन की बात कर रहा हूँ वो कितना सच्चा है आप आप क्योंकि ज्यादा क्योंकि देखिये डायलॉग के अंदर या एक मिक्स प्रोग्राम के अंदर है ना इतना ज्यादा डिफ्रेंसिएशन नहीं मालूम पड़ता लेकिन अगर कोई म्यूजिकल प्रोग्राम है म्यूजिक का गाना है उसमें ना तुरंत आपको पता चल जाता है अरे यार ये मेरे हाइस कम हो गए ये मेरे लोज गायब हो गए तो right. ये कितना सच्चा है ये जो आपको सुनाता है स्टूडियो के अंदर आइजोटोप वाला कि यूट्यूब पे ऐसा सुनाई देगा इसको कितना पचास right. परसेंट हम लोग सही समझे ये साठ सही समझे या हंड्रेड सही समझे प्लगइन की जो वो लोग सेल के लिए एकदम अपना पब्लिसाइज करते हैं तो बोलते हैं कि वो सत्तर परसेंट तक तो ठीक है ये बहुत बड़ी बात है बहुत बड़ी बात है फॉर दैट मैंने एक और काम किया हुआ है एक पांच सौ रुपए के इयरफोन्स लेके रखे हुए हैं एक बार उसपे सुनना जरूरी होता है आजकल बिल्कुल बिल्कुल आप तो उसपे सुनने के बाद में आप एक डिसीजन लेते हैं की अच्छे पे तो अच्छा सुना ही देगा तो आप अच्छे पे भी सुनते हैं आप एकदम महंगे वाले इयरफोन पे भी जैसे एप्पल पे सुनते हैं उसी चीज को सेम थिंग हैज बीन प्लेड मल्टीपल टाइम्स ऑन डिफरेंट स्पीकर्स बट होता कैसे कि विद द प्लग इन जो आजकल आ गए हैं मतलब उनका भी एक्यूरेसी काफी बढ़ गया है तो उससे यू डोंट रियली नीड टू ट्वीक अ लॉट ओके सो दैट रियली इज वन वन वे ऑफ ब्लेसिंग आल्सो ओके ग्रेट ग्रेट ये चीज अच्छी है तो आ, अभी तो मेरे क्वेश्चंस भी वैसे तो बहुत सारे लिखे थे आ, रूम एकोस्टिक्स के ऊपर कुछ शांतनु कुछ एनलाइटन करना चाहेंगे रूम एकोस्टिक्स इज प्रोबेबली द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ हैविंग अ स्टूडियो एंड व्हाट एवर रिकॉर्डिंग दैट यू आर डूइंग बिकॉज़ अ बैड रूम विल नेवर गिव यू अ गुड साउंड स्ट्रेट इट्स एज सिंपल एज दैट सो 
first thing that people need to do when they're deciding to become in proper recording engineers or starting to be studio owners or building their own studio, concentrate on the sound of your room. Make sure that is right. Once that is right, everything will fall into place automatically. Because today's day and age, there is no bad equipment that is being manufactured. In fact, no, no manufacturer goes out of his way to manufacture bad equipment. Yeah. Let's be very clear about that. So there is no equipment that you can say is bad. It's all got to do with personal taste and choices. And so and if you have a good room, doesn't matter what equipment you have in that room, it will respond to the way you are making it respond. So which is why I feel, forget EQs, forget compressor, forget plugins, forget anything. If you plug in a microphone in your live room and you hear it back in the control room, does it sound natural? Does it sound real? Does it sound the way that the artist is meant to sound? If you have achieved that, you actually don't need EQs and compression or anything of that sort. So which is why then the room is playing an important. So now if you want to manipulate sound, it is really easy to do because you know that your room is true. And when I yeah. say true, I mean it is a, a flat response. It's an even response over all frequencies. 100%. So therefore, that is the most important part of sound is having a flat response to whatever you're doing. Yeah. The easiest thing in the world is to add coloration. It's really, it's really difficult to keep things flat. Shantanu, you know, in such a lucid way, I think there uh, are This is the hallmark of a great um, professional, whether you are an engineer or an artist. When you, when you look at things in a very simple manner, or if I uh, specific questions ki baat nahi karu to i think is pure jo discussion ka sar ek lay person ke liye kyunki ye zaruri nahi hai ki hum har cheez ko technically dekhein as artists but i think the gist i would like to really compliment shantanu for uh, especially uh, you uh, for uh, simplifying things and saying very deep things in a very simple way and some of the things that really resonated with me uh, one is that um, do not blame, you know, a good, a good craftsman never blames his tools. So in Hindi, we say that as an artist, uh, since I also have a, a moniker of the traveling voice artist, I record from anywhere and everywhere in the world. And in spite of not being uh, technically equipped as an as a recording engineer would be but still i'm able to have decent sound is because i've always believed that more than your microphone it is the room that matters the most and i've been telling all and sundry for the last many many years uh, but maybe they needed a veteran like you to say this i've been saying this right from the time the pandemic hit and people started asking ki hum kaun sa mehenge se mehenga microphone le that should be the only mic that you should use. And what you need to what you need to develop is a good ear for your own voice. Are you sounding too muffled? Are you sounding too sharp? Is your voice getting enough room to breathe? a simple example doom, to Kaibar Undus Dorme log Razai Odke recording karte thing, or Muchevo Bada Sorry, for, pardon my French, but I thought that was very stupid because if uh, you take the whole thing and you take it, you take it, you take it, I would tell people with my very basic layperson understanding that when I record in a hotel, if I have to do it, then I keep one seat in the bed, I keep one seat in the other seat, so that six or eight feet long will become an environment. My voice has enough room to travel. And then you do a little tweaking to understand whether uh, are you sounding too sharp or are you sounding too, 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 too muffled and find that sweet spot 
like Shantanu said, that you should sound natural. So I think there were a lot of takeaways, not only for um, engineers who were probably watching it or who will watch it in times to come, but as an as an artist, as a performer, uh, my really big takeaway was that uh, equipment pe itna dhyan mat dijiye, jitna ki apne craft par dijiye ek to, aur dusra understand that the room that you're recording in it matters the most. And what I really liked was that no manufacturer will try very hard to produce bad equipment. So um, you know these are the. Baki to aap logne bahut pyari pyari baatein ki, but some of it was very technical for me, and I'm sure it will resonate well with engineers. But uh, you know I will. Mujhe lagta hai ki this was very very special, or maine honestly ye anticipate nahi kiya tha that there will be a lot of takeaways for voice artists. Very grateful that he chose to make India Voice Fest a small part of your life today. Very thankful because when we started this journey six years ago, our focus was the most on voice artists. Because I believe that first of all, we need to give them a voice, to give them a face, to give them a look. But then over the last few years, very organically, uh, which was always envisioned that we try to make India Voice Fest a small part of our life today. Very thankful that he chose to make India Voice Fest a small part of our life today. Very thankful that he chose to make India Voice Fest a small part of our life today. Very thankful that he chose to make India Voice Fest a small part of our and we've had sound engineers aisi baat nahi hai but mixing ko lekar we've never had a specialized uh, session and i'm so thankful to all of you and tarun thank you so much a uh, special thank you to you for being so generous for moderating for being the sutradhar of the entire session and i'm looking forward to see you soon and thank you and uh, you have a good evening 